Well, hello, good morning, everyone. This is Saturday. So we are going to cover the software test automation engineer interview based on the uh, the session last week we have done, which is which was a test automation engineer using the Cypress. And we have um, the completed the, uh, the entire crash course, but the interview is to ensure what we have covered. We're going to ask those questions and you are exactly expecting the answer based on what has been covered. There is no like book version will be accepted. Uh, there is no definition will be accepted. Definition can be accepted maximum 10 seconds and then maximum two sentences. Other than that, no definition will be accepted. So this session is going to be helpful for everyone equally uh, because that's the interview. Interview is very easy when you know the technique, interview is very difficult when you don't know how things work. Example, you'll be exactly speaking from what you have done, simple. There is no other things allowed. So in between, sometimes you have... So, so the interview is interview typically uh, two people or the group of people that speak uh, with a uh, candidate the purpose to know candidate details and the, their, the background based on the resume they have set it up. And the expectation from the uh, from the candidate is two, two part. One is like a technical part uh, based on the technical abilities, uh, again, based on the resume. And another part is um, the behavior, like how you communicate with people, and then the collaboration, teamwork, con conflict, right? Leadership, all this. So uh, combine both, basically uh, every company mostly make a decision before they uh, make an offer letter, make an offer to anybody else. So we will be doing the same thing, uh, but at least uh, we are going to cover the technical part based on the last week, uh, the, the QA crash course. So, um, the, in general, this session is going to be helpful for everyone, um, but the more precise, uh, which is like um, the MARN and the, the QA, uh, they will be required this uh, the interview perfectly without any problem. But again, in general, this is for everyone because uh, the, it's showing you the technique how to, how to answer interview questions. Again, 30 seconds interview question and answer based on what you have done. So each time we ask any of the definition or anything else, we are not expecting you to give me the definition type of answer. We are expecting you to exactly answer how you did it, like in, in what user story or what like the, the project, in the project, what form, whatever you have done, you have to correlate and then give the details answer surrounding that, like the question. That's exactly the, uh, the mystery of the interview. You do this at the, you can expect you will get the call without any problem. Now you can ask the, well, I don't know everything else. Absolutely fine. When you don't know something else, we expect you should not know everything all the time. When you don't know something, at this moment, you will be answering, well, I have not done this work, but I know what is it does. So now you can go the technical details or some, some people say, I'm not working actively in my current project but I have been doing some of the dummy project by off offline myself, so you can talk. So this is also part of your interview. It is common, the pattern anywhere you go, okay? So just wanted to set the expectation. So the Ashraf is going to answer the questions because he has done the hands-on, and then we go from there. I think that some questions will be answered by she as well, right? Am I right or wrong? Yes, uh, I'm gonna answer a few of the questions. Okay. So, thank you.